Hi, I'm Tara from Wild Bird Farm. Today we are going to check on the ranunculus. They have been planted out in my unheated hoop house and with 11 plus inches of snow on the ground, it's been warmer the last several days. So we have rapidly melting snow and I'm hopeful those corms made it. I still had to dig my way in a bit as the snow was piled up by the door, but once I was in, I was hit with a heat wave. It is probably 65 degrees in here. Now you'll notice I still have some snow inside the hoop house, which isn't ideal. Remember the big snow wave from a couple weeks ago? Well, it is melting down. And I guess I should mention the outside temperature is in the mid 40s and it's sunny. So of course, inside is gonna heat up. So I definitely need to get these two layers of Agrabon off the green in here. And this first area is the ranunculus and look, they survived. Now I'll get a closer shot here in a minute and you'll notice that a bit of the leaf matter did kind of die off, but there is fresh bright green still on each plant and growing up from the center, telling me that they are still alive and well and pushing new growth. I did check the moisture level just by kind of rooting around in the ground here and it's still wet. Um, moist I should say and it's cool to the touch so not super cold even um, in that specific area where the ranunculus are. Now I've got a lot more that I've been pre-sprouting so looking at the 10-day forecast I decided today is as good as any to get those planted out so I'll be doing that later in the video. But for now, I'm just taking that frost cloth off. I decided to open some of the small windows here I have on each end. And since that snow is still on top of the frost cloth and I didn't want to rip it, I just kind of piled it up down there on the end. So overall, everything's looking great. That's Sweet William there on the far right. Again, another close up of the ranunculus. And you can see where some of that has died off, but then there's the bright green healthy stuff there in the center. So I'm not worried about these at all and it's making me feel more confident that I can put out those pre-sprouted corms. I had a few pansies self-sew in this large um, container and I just left them and they're looking great. I'm actually starting some violas and pansies from seed so I may add those in there. And then of course our anemones, tough as nails. These are the ones that I did not get dug up. They've been this bright green since they started popping up in the fall and you can actually see that they were trying to push a few blooms before the real cold hit. I'm assuming having those two layers of Agrabon also did not help them where they kind of fell over, they weren't getting enough light. And then a quick check on the eucalyptus. These I'm less sure about. The first two clumps completely brown. I didn't pull on them too hard. I'm hoping that they're still rooted in. Um, here's the second one, looks about the same. Now the third one did have some green and I do have some promise for it. Interestingly enough, it's on the far west side and I would think not as protected. But as we look at the 10 day forecast, really good temperatures and I'm gonna take the dive and get my first round of pre-sprouted ranunculus out in the hoop house. I have a video where I soaked and pre-sprouted these. It's been about three weeks with just a bit of green on top. This is when I like to plant out when it's still cold out. That way the green um, doesn't have a lot of leaf matter that's gonna get damaged. But you can see there's some healthy roots down there. It was hot in here, so I had to swap out my boots for some tennis shoes. And I had also spread some composted manure in here um, in the fall. So I have a decent bed ready to plant. Um, it was pretty dry, so you'll see at the end I need to give it some water. Got just a few basic tools here. I didn't, didn't end up using the knife, but I plant a lot of plants out with that thing. Just a small spade, um, a kneel pad, because I'm kneeling about the whole time I'm planting here, and some older gloves. I generally um, soak the corms in a diluted solution of fish emulsion. And so my hands get pretty wet as I'm uh, planting these out. I'm just digging a row here, a little trough, um, about five to six per row. I'm putting them about two to three inches apart 
and then each row is about six inches apart to give them a little bit of space to spread out. I am tight on room in here, so I'm planting them a little bit closer together than maybe what is recommended. This will, however, help them push their uh, stems up to be taller as they get growing, so not a bad thing. Showing some healthy roots here, and if you remember when we planted uh, these corms in uh, that small container to pre-sprout, I put them pretty close together, so some of them I'm having to gently pry apart. If they have green showing, I'm keeping that just above the soil level, otherwise just making sure those roots get down. Uh, good contact with the soil here. It was interesting for me to look back at these video clips. You can definitely see that the sun is setting. I started this project about 4 p.m. and here it is getting close to five and that sun is getting pretty low in the sky. So initially I had thought I was gonna put a little bit of snow pack between my rows and that's a good source of nitrogen, snow is. So I thought that'd be a good way to water them in. But that was just going to take me too long, so I ended up going up and getting a couple of containers full of water. And I went ahead and just watered them in well. I actually, after this, I had just a few minutes of daylight, so I went ahead and planted up my anemones over by the other ones uh, that we looked at before, and then I also watered them in. Double checking the weather for the next day. It was supposed to be mostly cloudy and the high was 40. So I decided to give these a little bit of protection with a double layer of frost cloth. Now the day after tomorrow, it's supposed to be sunny and in the 50s. So I will for sure be coming out, opening the tunnel and taking off this frost cloth. But I thought they wouldn't mind the protection this first night and into the next day. I decided to close the windows for the night and I took some more frost cloth and just covered where I had planted those anemones. And that does it for now. This ended up being a productive day. I got the last of my ranunculus soaking and pre-sprouting to be planted out here in a few weeks. We'll anxiously await for spring to see these beautiful blooms. Until next time, subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks everyone.